Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to another Top 10 Tuesday. Uh, this week, I decided to not do the themed one, because I don't have many Severn films. I got some, but there's also some in different company, like different brands. I think it's called Retrovision, which is a, their uh, subgroup, I think it is, but still like a Severn. So I was just looking through my collection, figuring out what looks good. Then came to me. I'm going to do my top 10 uh, films that are in snapper cases. <laughs> yes, those good old snapper cases that everybody loves. Not really. Um, snapper cases are okay, but they're sometimes a pain in the ass because of the way they fit in the collection, the way they look. I'm always afraid with the labels that they put on that they might peel off on top of the uh, of the movie. Also, they get crushed pretty easily. If the top gets damaged, you can't really replace them with uh, other uh, cases. So you pretty much, if the artwork gets ruined, you're screwed. But anyway, these are the films I went through. Uh, some have do have uh, upgrades to Blu-ray or upgrades to just normal DVD of non-snappers. But I've kept the snappers just the way they are. So I went actually with my top 10 snapper cases. So I hope you guys like this list. And let me know what you think down below. As you can see from number 10 is Ghost Ship. The reason why I kept this snapper case one for the lenticular cover, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> see Evil. Yes. Uh, I think the Blu-ray is out, but it's all in Spanish. The cover art and everything. Which is kind of weird. Put it out as Ghost Ship. Uh, the movie itself is not bad. The first couple scenes are fantastic. You have what happens in the past with the crew of the Sea Liner. And it has like an insane death count right at the beginning. And then it kind of starts going down a little bit. Uh, the acting wasn't bad. Some scenes were kind of like eh. But I did not mind this movie. I saw it in the theater. I thought it was pretty cool. And um, I bought it when it first came out in the good old snapper case. But again, it came with a cool lenticular cover. So I went with that and kept it as is for now. Maybe until another edition comes out that's a little bit better. That's got some cool special features, features to it as well. That's why it's at number 10 is Ghost Ship for snapper case. Number nine is <clears throat> Wishcraft. The only way to get this movie is through a snapper case that I know of. And uh, this is a different take of a slasher from I think the 90s with this where um, this nerd gets a penis in the mail that's a like from a bull or uh, some animal I think. But it has magical powers, and he can get wishes. He gets three wishes from this uh, magical penis. <laughs> and, of course, he wishes for the one girl that he loves to fall in love with her, to him. And uh, someone else is going around killing the bullies near him. But they're all, like, super powered, uh, the killer is, where he uh, runs someone over with a bowling ball over their head. Jumps up in midair, wraps around like a traffic light to hang somebody. Uh, some of the scenes, the kills are off screen, but some of them are not bad. The movie overall is okay. Uh, wasn't bad. It's not astronomically awesome film. It's an okay film. I would check it out. Wishcraft. All right, number eight is Innocent Blood. That I know of, the only way to get this film to is through a snapper case. Uh, from the 90s, fun uh, take on a horror comedy with vampires. And uh, I think uh, Ted Ramey did some stuff with this one. I know uh, his brother's in this in a uh, cameo. But I was directed by John Landis. But the special effects were pretty cool. Uh, I like how the, the vampires happened. Pretty much, it's kind of like 
a mafia type style movie and of course the main guy the bad guy starts turning his crew members into vampires and of course the main female vampire has to team up with a cop to kill off the rest of the vampires pretty fun flick i liked it a lot check it out if you want innocent blood number eight number seven is eight legged freaks <laughs> Uh, I know there is a um, revamp of this movie that is out on a normal case. I just never bothered to it just because I just kept the the first print of it because I like this movie a lot. I never got a chance to... Did I see this in the theaters? I don't know. I knew I bought it when it first came out and it came out on a snapper. And uh, I love killer bug spiders and films and everything. Of course, it's got everything, giant spiders, small spiders. It's got like a gremlins feel to it, too. Uh, the scene in the mall was hysterical. Pretty cool little horror comedy, killer bug film. I highly check it out if you've never seen A Leg of Freaks. Just cheesy. David Arquette's stupid in it, but yeah. Number six. So far, I know if you can only get this in a snapper case, then it's Valentine. Uh, holiday horror slasher for, for Valentine's Day. I did see this one in the theater. I enjoyed it a lot. And of course, as soon as it came out, I bought it. It's got an awesome soundtrack to it, too. Uh, soundtrack's fantastic. Kills are cool. I love the way the killer looks. The uh, the cherub face going around, killing people. Got the bloody nose. That bloody nose piece. Um, if you pay attention to it. It gives a little tidbits. <laughs> but, yeah, the cast is not bad. David Boreanaz, Denise Richards, oh, uh, Catherine Heigl, Heigl, Mary Shelton. Some big names are in this movie. I wish this movie would get some more love, you know, maybe get a Blu-ray or special edition. It's a great little holiday slasher, Valentine. All right. Number five. I know this one just got a uh, got re-released onto a normal edition because this was out of print for a while. And that is the Swarm. This is a killer B flick, uh, a long movie too. This movie is 155 minutes long. Yes, that is a long movie. Uh, the cast is insane. A lot of big cameos are in this one for uh, its time. I'll give you the cast right there. I'm not going through the whole list. But again, this is the director who did Towering Inferno, Silent Adventure, pretty much African killer bees start attacking people. And you have to figure out how to stop this killer bee infestation. And it's global. It's People are getting stung left and right. Um... Little kids get killed, adults get killed, so everyone is fair game in this movie. It's pretty badass. Uh, definitely, if you're into killer bee movies, highly recommend grabbing the swarm. Um, like I said, it's now, I think, in a normal case edition, so you can snag that one for pretty cheap. This was out of print, but I still kept the snapper case. Why bother? <laughs> All right, number four is pretty much the same way. I think it was... I know it's been in a snapper, and uh, I don't think it ever got released in a normal edition case. Maybe it has. And that is Stephen King's Cat's Eye. Great horror anthology, all based around the cat. Uh, from the first one with the guy trying to quit smoking, to the bet around the high rise, of course, to the little troll, and of course, um, Drew Barrymore is a, the young cast in this film where she was in Firestarter now she's in Cat's Eye awesome horror anthology if you've never seen Cat's Eye get it awesome 80s flick all right number three I was very happy to find this one I don't think this has a normal edition anywhere and it's kind of hard to find and that is Night Flyer another Stephen King film Got a couple Stephen Kings on here. <laughs> Pretty cool take on the vampire film where the vampire 
is flying around in a small airplane and this journalist is pretty much tailing him trying to get him discovered trying to you know put his end to his reign of terror and of course this vampire just goes around and does damage <clears throat> not your typical vampire too as well i liked how they did his fangs if you've seen the movie you know what i'm talking about i like how they did that that was a pretty cool take on uh this film uh <clears throat> great uh, film itself. Uh, Miguel Ferrer, he was in um, Deep Star 6. He's the one that's tailing the Night Flyer. Great film. Number two is another long one. I don't think as well as this was in a non-snapper case. And this one is close to being I don't know. It's 183 minutes. That's the original Salem's Lot. <clears throat> Long movie. But a fantastic one. Made for TV film. Uh, the Master. You know. What can you say about this movie? They said they were going to make him having a speaking part. But they decided not to. Which is great. Because. Just the way how he growls. And his stares are fantastic. Uh, the little kid in the window scene, huh, still f scary as hell. Salem's Lot's fantastic. Uh, I need to get the sequel, Return to Salem's Lot. I don't know if it's any good. If you've seen it, let me know. And my number one is an out of print. I know you can only get it in a snapper case. And I would love to see this movie get some more love. And that is Tales from the Hood. <clears throat> fantastic horror anthology from HBO uh, from the 90s. Uh, different, you know, the guys stealing, not stealing, but they're going to a funeral home to score drugs. And the funeral director's telling them twisted tales of uh, killer dolls to <clears throat> abusive parents to, you know, gang related, uh, all kind of films itself that are pretty much intertwined with the hood, which is pretty badass. I love the ending. The wraparound story is fantastic. This whole movie is like a, uh, a 9 out of 10. Uh, fantastic flick. Again, this movie needs some love too. I would love to see this get uh, a special edition Blu-ray treatment or something. Uh, I think Spike Lee did this. I'm not, maybe he did. I know, yep, executive producer was Spike Lee. So, he had some work in it. Again, great film. So that is my Top 10 Tuesday. So this is my Snapper Case edition of Top 10 Tuesday. I hope you like this little edition here. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And let me know what you think about Snapper Cases. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you mind them? Don't mind them? What? All right, guys. Have yourself a good night. Peace.